In this video, I'm going to show you how you can now use OneInch on the Binance Smart Chain. And for more information on OneInch, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. OneInch has now announced their expansion to the Binance Smart Chain, also known as BSC and they've ported over a whacking 10 million one-inch tokens to the network. Binance Smart Chain is an alternative solution to the Ethereum mainnet, helping users to reduce fees when interacting with smart contracts. OneInch launched on the Ethereum network and allowed their users to access dozens of DEXs, such as the likes of Uniswap and SushiSwap, to trade for Ethereum-based tokens to get the best prices. But with Ethereum gas fees being so high, it made trading on Ethereum-based platforms overly expensive for smaller investors. Therefore, OneInch has expanded over to another blockchain and is now live on Binance Smart Chain, meaning that their trades can now also include BSE tokens, plus it should also bypass some of the sky-high fees. The OneInch token on the Binance Smart Chain will be used as a bridge between the Binance and Ethereum networks, meaning that OneInch users will get access to other Binance-based DEXs such as the likes of PancakeSwap and BakerySwap, which I've recently covered. And to kickstart the launch, OneInch is offering 150,000 in OneInch tokens to attract liquidity providers to the platform, and I'm going to take you through that in a moment. So let's jump into the walkthrough now and start using OneInch on the Binance Smart Chain. And if you're new to OneInch, I'll pop a sign-up link in the summary below. So we're going to head across to the OneInch exchange. And you can see at the top of the screen that my existing wallet is connected and that I'm currently connected to the Ethereum mainnet. And I've got just over 2,300 one-inch tokens in this wallet, which I've been wanting to stake for a while now to get that 38% staking return. Now, if I were to complete that transaction right now by heading across to the DAO and choosing to stake 100% of these tokens, you'll see that when I go to confirm the transaction, you'll see that the cost would be $151, as the fees are so high right now, therefore it really wouldn't be worth it. So to reduce my fees when interacting with OneInch, I need to get those tokens across to the Binance Smart Chain. Now unfortunately, even though Ethereum and Smart Chain addresses are the same, you can't actually send them across the same network. And instead, you'll need a bridge between the two networks. And I'm sure there will be an easier way to do this further along the line, or there may already be one. But the way that I'm currently doing this is by sending my one inch tokens across to Binance. And if you don't already have a Binance account, I have a link in the summary below that will give you some money off your trading fees. Now if I go to deposit from within Binance and copy my ERC20 address, and you'll see that my ERC20 address is the same as my BSC address. So I'll go back to Metamask now and choose to send then paste in the address that I've just copied from Binance so that I can send my one-inch tokens across to the exchange. And as you can see, I'm on the Ethereum network sending to an ERC20 address, and that's going to cost about $24, as this is where those fees are so high. Okay, so that's now gone through, and the final cost was $8.69, which wasn't too bad. Now, whilst I wait for those tokens to reach Binance, let's head across to one-inch, so that we can connect to the Binance Smart Chain instead. And you'll need to change the network in Metamask first, from the Ethereum mainnet at the top of the screen, to the Binance Smart Chain. Now I already have the Binance Smart Chain set up, but if you've not already manually added this network, you can check out my video of how to do this, or I'll pop a link to my blog post at everybithelps.co.uk in the summary below. So now that my Metamask is connected to the Binance Smart Chain, I'm just going to connect up my wallet to one inch. And as you can see, it's automatically recognized the fact that I'm on the Binance Smart Chain mainnet. But if it doesn't, you can switch between Binance and Ethereum networks from here. Then we'll click to connect wallet, where you'll need to agree to the terms and conditions, choose the network, then finally you can choose your wallet, which for me is obviously MetaMask. So now that's connected, you can see that I'm connected to OneInch with Binance Smart Chain Mainnet. Now, let's head back to Binance. 
So as well as having my one inch tokens, I'm also going to need some BNB to pay for the gas fees. Similar to the likes of needing ETH for gas on the Ethereum network. Again, I have some BNB in my Binance wallet, which I'm going to send across to my Metamask wallet. Now, if you're not already aware, Binance actually have two networks, which is the Binance chain and the Binance smart chain. And we're using the Binance smart chain. So this is the network that we'll need from the list here. So if I copy the address from my Metamask wallet and paste that into the recipient address on Binance, you can see here that it's an OX address, which is normally an Ethereum address. And if in error, you choose the Binance chain, you'll get an error. Then when we select the correct network, which is the Binance smart chain, that error then goes away. And I'm gonna send the max here. Then I'm gonna authorize that withdrawal using my YubiKey, which I use instead of Google Authenticator as my form of two-factor authentication. If you wanna find out more about YubiKeys from Yubico, you can check out my tutorial. Now I'm gonna do the exact same process for my one inch tokens. And obviously ensuring that you have the Binance Smart Chain selected this time instead of Ethereum. Now I've got a lot of one inch tokens here, which can be a little bit daunting when you're sending them across for the first time. So if you're unsure, it's worth doing a smaller test amount first before you send them all across. And the fees on Binance Smart Chain are really small too, so you don't have to worry about having to pay these more than once. So I'm gonna send across 10 one inch now as a test and for the purposes of this tutorial. So I've now sent across my 10 one inch tokens plus some BNB to pay for the gas fees. And you can see that they're now showing up here in my one inch balance. If I just click onto here, you'll see that there isn't currently a reward for staking your one inch tokens on the Binance Smart Chain, like you could get 38% on Ethereum that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. But I'm gonna show you the difference here in gas fees anyway, just to give you a bit of a comparison. So if I head to the DAO, and this time, I've got just under 10 one inch tokens as opposed to the 2000 that we had over on Ethereum. So it's not obviously a like to like comparison, but it won't make a huge difference in the price. I'll select 100% here. And you'll need to unlock the token, which is then costing me about 15 cents. Then you would then stake your token which is coming out at a gas fee of 0.003 BNB. And a BNB is currently around $230. So that works out to be just 68 cents, which is a lot cheaper than our earlier example. But as I said, we're not actually getting any rewards for staking at the moment, so we won't continue and confirm here. Instead, I'll add my one inch tokens to the liquidity pool. So let's head to pools. And here you can see a list of all the available pools with some really good returns. With the one inch and BNB pool, you have up to a thousand percent APY plus a 90% return. And going down the list, you'll see a lot of different pools here with some attractive returns. Now the more liquidity that's added to these pools by one inch users, you'll find that these rates will reduce. So let's add liquidity to the BNB and one inch pool now as I have these tokens in my wallet. And to provide liquidity, you'll need to press onto the plus icon besides the pool that you wanna add liquidity to. And what you need to do here is have an equal share or 50-50 of BNB and one inch tokens. If you don't already have enough and you need to buy or swap tokens, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. First up, I'll need to unlock my one inch tokens and you'll have the option to unlock or you also have Infinity Unlock here, which isn't really recommended as essentially it keeps your wallet open for interaction here. So I'll just unlock. So I'll add my 9.8 one inch tokens and it'll automatically match it on the BNB side. Now, when you add liquidity, you receive pool tokens called Liquidity Provider or LP tokens. These tokens essentially track your contribution to the pool and you'll earn fees proportional to your share of the pool, which can be redeemed at any time. The liquidity that you provide is then used when someone makes a trade. And in this example, 
of BNB and one inch on their exchange. Therefore, it's worth mentioning that the ratio of your tokens might change over time, meaning that you could end up with more BNB or more one inch depending on the way that people are trading. Then if we head across to farming, you can deposit your liquidity provider or LP tokens, and you can lock them up in a process that will reward you with one inch tokens. I'm going to stake my LP tokens now by choosing to deposit. At the top, I've got my balance of 9.7 LP tokens. It will then give me a rough estimate of my returns. Now I'm only adding $78 here, as this is only a test. So monthly, I'll get about $5. And if I kept that in for a year, I'll get around $70. And if you're happy, you can unlock and pay your fee. Then you'll need to select the amount again. Then you can deposit. And when that's gone through, you can then start earning rewards. And you'll see four buttons here now highlighted, where you can deposit more. You can claim your rewards, or you can withdraw, or exit and claim, where it'll do it all for you in one go. Now finally, if you didn't have the equal share of tokens that we deposited earlier, or if you just simply want to swap on the platform, I'll take you through this now. As you can see, I've added more tokens to this wallet, and in the top right hand side of the screen, I have 19 BNB. But say for example, I want to have an equal share between BNB and 1inch. At the top, I'll select BNB, as I'm going to be swapping from this token. And I want to swap my BNB for 1inch tokens. I'm going to select 9.5 BNB, and underneath it gives you the breakdown of the rates and the prices, as well as the fees which will be about 60 cents. Then just confirm the swap in your wallet. And your tokens will then be available. So that completes how you can now use one inch exchange on the Binance Smart Chain. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.